I'm Gigi Hadid. I'm Paloma Alcesser. Hi, my name is Adit Akej. Hi, I'm Alexa Demi. My name's Adjoba, founder of Girls Talk. I am Vanessa Benji Mateo, and I'm Rihanna's favorite drag queen. I claim it my damn self. Life is a pattern of failures and successes and how you move through those things. I work with refugees for UNHCR. I was just in Time 100 Next List, which is pretty freaking awesome. Getting married was not some sort of like fairy tale out of a movie. It really took work, it took patience, it took just a lot of unconditional love. I think it might be my ID cover. It was my first magazine, it's my first cover, and that's like a big deal and really special for me to be a part of. I would say my biggest personal success was when I just got out of my own way. My biggest success was when we actually wrote letters to the Congress and we physically delivered them because I thought that was the best way to actually take action. Self-love, you know? Sometimes I'll fail in relationships. I'm not the same person that I was yesterday. The thing that I've struggled with the most has to be my anxiety. I have missed some opportunities because I was too anxious and seeing the goals that I set for myself and conquering them, it helps me a lot. In life, you go through ups and downs. There's no such thing as a perfect world. Something that really affected my career was losing my best friend in 2017. I relate it to feeling because I feel like I didn't reach out to him. Cry as much as you need to, love as much as you have to, keep people around you that love you and will show you love. I feel like I have one million questions for Rihanna. How do you stay so bomb? It seemed to be that there was a point in your career in which you took like a real pivot into like authenticity where everyone kind of leaned into the fact that it was just like truly who you were. What got you there? What did you need to push yourself to be like, no, we're doing it this way? Thank you, just thank you. It brings uh, me to tears because it's, it's such a real thing for, for me personally. The question I would love to ask Rihanna is, what has fame cost you? Is it difficult to be powerful as a woman and not losing your femininity? Will you please send me some nudes? Please, Riri, send me some nudes. Identifying now as non-binary, whereas being a woman before, I definitely want to like move forward, saying bye to that bitch. Going into 2020, I'm taking with me like perseverance, my work ethic, not taking the love with me. <laughs> I just want to be more open and more positive, I guess. Kind of going with the flow being afraid of how big my dreams are and just having the audacity to, to chase them. We got this 2020, it's all about the money, bitch. Secure the bag. I want to be the healthiest, I don't want to be focused, I don't want to kick ass, and I just want to be happy and make everybody around me happy and just be, like, dope. That's what I want. 2020, the year of perfect vision. 